Hello gentlemen, welcome back to the lab and today I will show you how to take your cheap master crap voltmeter and make it safer by installing one of these. So let's get right into the video. So what this fuse allows you to do is it gives you a time delay which enables you to you know take your maximum current uh, through the fuse and still not blow it up and uh, the opposite thing happened to me when I was um, testing uh, my UPS design and uh, I blowed up the fuse even without reaching the current capacity so I'll show you what happened in a second so what I will do right now is I have two amp meters hooked up one is inductive the other one is resistive so I don't know if it's the frequency at which we actually switching of the transformer that causes error in meter operation but there we go as you can see we have the log and I'm gonna connect it up okay yeah and we had just blown a fuse in my meter there we go so we're in and I'll show you something so here we have another master crap meter and as you can see we are in continuity mode and uh, what you want to do is you want to find out the problem why you cannot measure your current anymore well the problem is very easy the fuse had been blown and we know it's not this one because this one's good and this one's not good so the reason why these fuse blow is because they are not designed well they are designed this way they are fast blow fuse which means you reach the maximum current capacity right here and it's gonna blow uh, right away so it's good for protecting very sensitive equipment but it's terrible for meters so like this since uh, we want to be able to reach our maximum capacity of uh, 20 amps or so and still be able to read the damn thing now of course for safety reasons you should never uh, achieve 20 amp current draw using these cheap uh, probes so if you want uh, to go ahead and burn some wires, uh, you can do that. I don't want to do that, so uh, the fuse we will put in is a 15 amp fuse. Now what we're about to do is we will take the fuse out. It's that easy. If you have another fuse like this, don't even bother changing it to that one since it is going to take a lot of time. But since we have time and we have that fuse, we're gonna change it so what we want to do is uh, we will uh, take out these uh, holders and place in the new holders for the bigger fuse so this fuse is a 15 amps it's gonna allow even 20 amps to go through it uh, for a couple seconds before it blows so that's just excellent for our application Okay guys, so what we did is we had desoldered the two uh, clamps for the fuse. It, it, it took about 15 minutes to get it right. And uh, we had to take the PCB off the case. Uh, it, they were soldered at the back, so yeah. So we are almost at the point of soldering uh, the new fuse to the new location. Uh, all we have to do is to make sure that uh, everything is good like all the traces and everything are good still in mint condition and uh, yeah we'll just put everything back and it should be working handy dandy
So as you can see now we had complete our setup so we increased the current capacity of uh, the trace and we have a HRC fuse in place so now this device is much much more safe so uh, as a conclusion for this video I just want to thank you guys that you watched this video and uh, it's really important that you do understand what I did to my meter this is modification that will make your meter safer and that is essential if you are measuring uh, AC or DC loads for more than you know 5 amps I would recommend it so as you saw uh, it, you know like the fuse and the protection they have in these meters are it's just not good it's you can laugh of that because it's horrible so it's a easy mod you can do to really save your life if you're holding the damn thing in your hand so that's about it for this video if you like the video don't forget to like it on the bottom also don't forget to subscribe for more videos for more content I have many new videos planned out I'm still waiting for parts uh, it takes so long to get stuff from China, it's just unbelievable. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.